Hey guys, it's me, Tailman, and today we'll be looking at the ASP handgun. And for some reason, on Wikipedia, I don't have a picture for it. But that's enough history. Let's get to the gun. There here is the ASP handgun. Handgun, handgun, asp pistol. I don't know which one to call it. <laughs> um, it's, it was almost scaled correctly for once. Um, I made it about half an inch to an inch smaller than its, well, just overall, you know, like length and width or length and height wise because you know uh... trigger is a piece of plastic or cardboard just there just bent in the general shape of a trigger nothing special i mean look at that you can make the trigger go like that <laughs> that's not good <laughs> anyway um... yeah it, it, it's almost scaled correctly uh... you can rack the slide back like well like any handgun i make recently uh, it has a tilting barrel like on the actual gun I can't not sure if you can see that clearly but notice how the barrel tips up a little bit yeah well it's kind of hard to see but it tips up don't worry take my word for it and uh it's, well it has a ah, slide catch and it has a mag release holds seven rounds I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven plus one. Cause you can actually rack it. You know, take out the mag, put another bullet, put on safe, and then holster it. Yep, I actually did put a safety, even though the gun does not shoot. It's all about them details, boy. Or girl, whoever's watching. I highly doubt it's gonna be a girl. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Anyway, and on the side, there is a little indentation of the safety. You know, minor details. Oh, and yes, this one. This time this gun does have an extractor, so I put the little model of an extractor. It only makes sense, right? Uh, like the real gun, there are no unnecessary protrusions. Everything is rounded off. Round and smooth and uh, how my woodshop teacher would call uh, sexy or something like that. Because <laughs> a piece of nicely polished... I like just keep it there. <laughs> woodshop. I miss woodshop. Did you know they got rid of it in my school? Man, it sucks. I made a little, uh, thing, uh, what was it? Ah, I made something out of wood. Made a little uh, candle holder, but that, I lost it. It was nice. Oh, speaking of which, um, okay, let's get back to the gun. It's one of my, uh, guns were really the actual trigger, or not, uh, the, the, the safety catch actually has a built-in spring, so you don't have to reset it. Like, when you push it, you have to push it back into place. It actually does it automatically, which is good. Magazine, it's a little bit oddly shaped. It, the, this part's actually supposed to be flush, but, like, again, I, you don't know how to proportion anything correctly, so that's why it looks like that. It's not it's not that bad. Uh, based on the pictures, though, I've seen people uh, holding a gun. It's I normally see them with the pinky near here because it's supposed to be a small compact gun you know you can uh, holster away and you know this gun was meant for clandestine use or you know like undercover which is a fun fact because this gun was actually used in uh, the ASP handgun was used by James Bond in one of his novels I can't remember which one I just looked up the gun on Wikipedia and uh, I'm sorry to say you guys but how I found out about this gun is Oh, I, mean, I, I can imagine the hate. You know what? Bring it. Bring the hate. I got this gun from Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, you heard me. Black Ops. Black Ops. Anyway. Um. Anyway. So anyway, it has a... You can rack the slide. The gutter snipe sights. Oh my goodness. The gutter snipe sights pretty much took me the same amount of time to make this gun. About a day and a half. Because I could not get it right. The way the gunner snipe is designed, it's you can just it takes advantage of the brain's natural tendency to make things even. So in the case of ASP, once you see all those three triangles evened up like that, that's lined up. <laughs> Compared to a natural sight like this Nambu here, which I will do later or later today, it does that. So in terms, and people say it's stupid, but. For the way to design for, i.e. undercover, close proximity, QCBs, it's it's more than adequate. Anyway, uh, trigger, oh yeah, also little details is the little trigger guard here is recessed. So when you pull it out, you can, uh, you can just easily slide your finger in there. 
Also, the little curve here is meant to hold the gun like this when you're shooting. Back then, that was supposed to be the ideal shooting position, but now it's like the more ideal shooting position is like this. Thumbs forward, or if you're really serious, um, hold it like this, something like that. But I hold my guns like this when I shoot, regardless. I mean, it works for almost any gun, regardless. So, the thumbs forward technique is the one I, I uh, use when we shoot. But, uh, back at the time, the, the uh, you know, Paris Theodore, he made pretty cool guns. I also included the little famous, or pretty, uh, in, pretty interesting, how many rounds you have in the hand grip, you know, it's like, oh, how much rounds do I have? I got a full mag, bang, 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 you know. And the uh, plastic grips, well, they're plastic, they're not Teflon like the original gun is. <laughs> you know, I just cut them and, uh, trace it to the basic shape of the handgun. Not the best. I mean, it's not the best ASP on YouTube. But, you know, I'm not gonna go saying mine's better or anything. I just, you know, it's just a gun. That's pretty much what it boils down to at the end of the day. Alright, enough to talk again. Let's show you the field stripping. So take out the mag, back the slide, click, we're safe to go. So to, to field strip, oh, safety. Well, actually, I never field stripped the ASP handgun. So you take out the little slide release, or, yeah, put next to Jake, that's why he's there, he's a placeholder so I know where my stuff is, because I forget where I put my stuff during a video sometimes. Oh yeah, like I said, like with every handgun I always include this little, little slide rail apparatus that you will slide into here, these little rails, so my, so the slide doesn't keep going like that whenever I cock it, which is annoying. So there we go. Put the little body right there. That's the slide. Uh, nothing to it. The, the barrel I heard was about three to four inches, so that's almost correct. Spring is from a standard notebook. Uh, the cardboard springs I like I normally use like um, on this gun or this gun wasn't strong enough to move the slide. Cause this thing is pretty heavy. I mean, in terms of cardboard. And uh, man, I've got a nice sights. I like them, huh? 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 Hi, Jake. You want some of this? I think so. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah. Nothing special. Uh, I'll put this back on here. It's fairly easy to take apart and disassemble. I mean, compared to my first attempt. Actually, I'll show it right here. Hold up. Let me uh, assemble this, and I'll get my first attempt at an ASP handgun, which I can say is a complete failure. And coming from a guy who pretty much made the gun, that's saying something. This one's my way better attempt at making the ASP handgun. So let me show you real quick. Put it on safety. So this is my first attempt, like I said, as a ASP handgun. Utter, utter, vigorously inhaling madness. This thing is unbreaking. Oh, I swear. What was I... What was I? I used to think this was the best gun I made. I'm serious. Like, nothing else I would make would match this thing. And then, here we go, like three years later, or four years later, I think, I make this. And then it's better than this thing. You know what? Just. I'll stick with this gun. This is a better ASP. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention it also has this little moving hammer, which in real life the gun is double to single action, like a SIG or a. Um. What's another gun that's a hammer fired that does that? Or Baby Eagle. Because I, I know it because I fired one. Along with a Glock 26. I want to keep both of those things, like, do wield. But in terms of safety, I don't really think that's a good idea. Yeah, so anyway, the gutter snipe safety looks almost just like the one on a picture. I'm not sure if I'd put that, you know, like right here or something. Anyway. Uh, what else? Did I forget anything? No, that's it. Yeah, that's the ASP handgun. Uh, gun, ASP, ASP pistol. Fun fact, ASP, who made this, or produced these guns, are still around, but they're famous for those little red guns, or training guns, and batons. Uh, batons and red guns, that's what ASP is known for now. Well, what was it, uh, what did ASP stand for? Something, something... Advanced Security Production? No, 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 no. I know they had to do with something security, but that's, I can't remember. And there's Jake the Crow, and it's me, Tail Man, or Happy I Prefer. And as always, be chill.